Thank you. Hi, I'm Gary Kroger, and welcome to a special family edition of the Newlywed Game. Today we'll be meeting two newlywed brothers and their wives. They'll be competing against their father and his new wife for a great second honeymoon. Let's meet our first couple. She's a 29-year-old customer service representative. He's a 30-year-old architect. They've been married for 14 months. Let's meet Christine and Alan Tiaimo. Welcome. Good luck. Okay. Next, she's a 23-year-old housewife, and he's a 29-year-old UPS driver. They've been married 16 months. Say hi to Alan's brother, Michael, and his wife, Misha Tiaimo. Welcome. Welcome. Finally, He's 53 years old, and she's 48 years old. They're both realtors. They've been married five years. Let's meet Michael and Alan's father and stepmother, Dee and Gilda Giaimo. Welcome. Let's hear it for all the Giaimos. <laughs> Are you guys ready to play? Yeah. All right, now I'm going to be asking you questions about your relationship and each other. It's up to you to match. Now, each time you match, you get points. The couple with the most points will win a second honeymoon. All right? Now, Misha, I'm going to start down there with you, and I want you to look over my shoulder at this screen where we'll see Michael. My wife thinks I'm different from the rest of my family because I'm... Now, Misha... I stopped right there because I want you to finish Michael's sentence for 10 points. Because he's different? <laughs> because he's different. Okay. Honest. Oh, honest. Oh. Yeah, man, we always talk about it. Honest. You know, honest. Right. Honest. Yeah, honest. 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 That's, that's, we always talk about that. You know how you say, I'm honest, and you just can't stand me. Well, never mind. Gilda, let's take a look at DDA. If I had to rate my body on the scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a... He's going to say 8. 7. Oh. Okay. Hey, I'm not Mel Gibson. You know that. <laughs> That's for sure. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry. You're always going around saying, I'm a 10, I'm, I'm a, a 10. 10. Yeah, I've got right. legs that Hollywood... <laughs> that was 30 years ago. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Christine, let's look at Alan. Okay. If we had sex every time I was in the moon, we'd make love at least... Every day. Every day. So you're saying one time a day? I'm once sorry. a day. Once a day. Every day, once a day. Okay. Twice a day. Twice! <laughs> No, once a day, it's, a, uh, it's enough. Twice a day. Let's turn the tables now. Alan, I want you to watch Christine up here. All right. The funniest man in our family is. That's me. I don't want. Daddy. <laughs> you know it's your dad. You always make fun of dad. You know that's why I'm the funniest. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I think you're all hysterical. I mean, I'm enjoying this immensely. All right, hey, let's take a look at Gilda now, Didier. The one activity I wish my husband and I would do more often is... Play tennis. Play tennis. Go dancing. Oh. Daniel! I <laughs> What do we need? When are you going to go dancing? We always go dancing. Not enough. You, you want to go play tennis with me? You never ever play tennis. What do you mean go dancing? We always go dancing. What is this? What did she say? Dancing? Yeah, she said dancing. <laughs> she wants we to go always go dancing. No, you don't. know that. All right. Michael, here's Misha. The nickname I wish my husband would not call me during sex is... <laughs> Sherry. Sherry. Cherie. What's wrong 
Where's Sherry? That's sort of endearing, yeah? yeah. I hear it every day. Sherry, 24 hours a day. Sherry, Sherry this, Sherry that. <laughs> well, now it's Sherry. That's like, you know, baby. You know, it's, it's, it works in. We're learning an awful lot about the GIMOs here. <laughs> We're going to learn a lot more after these messages, so stick with us. <laughs> to a special family edition of the Newlywed Game. Now, Didier, I think we should probably explain to everyone that you're all from France, right? Absolutely. We are from France. Actually, I was born in Casablanca, in Morocco. Yeah. Yes. But I moved to France when I was a teenager, and my children were born in Paris. Oh, that's wonderful. Right, yeah. Now, Didier, do you have any advice to your sons on how to have a successful marriage? Well... <laughs> it's it's good to share the same interest and so forth. But the most important here is communication. You have to communicate. That's right up. That's right up. And you are right on the mic. Alan, um, do you agree with your father? Oh, definitely. Communication is a very big plus. But you know what? That's not it. Laughter is very important, and Christine makes me laugh a lot, so... <laughs> I can't argue. I can't argue. You, you, you really have it together. Now, Michael, just out of curiosity, are things still as exciting now as when you first got married? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and enthusiastic. Matter of fact, she makes me beg for it. And you should see how he does it. You should see how he does it. So we have communication, laughter, and begging are the ways to keep a relationship together. Now, Christine and Alan, you don't have any points yet. No. All right, but you're confident yeah. that's going to change. No problem. All right. Yeah. Gilda and DDA, you don't have any points yet. No problem. Your son, Michael, and Misha, his wife over there, they have 10 points. Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you what we're going to do now. I'm going to ask each one of you a multiple choice question. It's then going to be up to you to tell me which of the three answers your mate already said. If you got a match, you get 10 points. And Christine, I'm going to start with you. When it comes to telling a story, did Alan say you usually tell it exactly, leave out the good parts, or make half of it up? Leave out the good part. That's what he said. <laughs> Why do you leave out the good parts? I don't know. <laughs> You know, she's leaving out a good part now. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Gilda, when DDA wants to go out to dinner, what did he say is most important to him? How good is the food? How close is the restaurant? Or how cheap are the prices? How good is the food? Oh. Oh. DDA, oh, come on, you're always yeah. saying oh. I'll That's always say thinking. how cheap it is. You know well, that. What was his answer? He said cheap. He says he wants cheap. 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 Misha, we asked Michael if he were dared, which of the following would be next to impossible to get him to do? Bungee jump, wear women's clothes, or admit that he's wrong? Wear women's clothes. <laughs> understand that, but has it been an issue? Has it come up? Yeah, we talked about it a well. little. <laughs> okay, like I said, we're learning she a lot wants, about the goes, GI most. She goes, put put this on. I want to see it. I want to take a picture. She wants to take a picture of me in the woman's house. Like, I did. <laughs> I did already. Oh, you did. I that wasn't that that was woman's clothes. No, that wasn't woman's clothes. Oh, Michael. It was nice your turn to make some points here. Okay. <laughs> Which household appliance did Misha say was her least favorite to use? The washing machine, the stove, or the bathroom scale? Washing machine. Oh, what? Misha? <laughs> the washing machine. Not the bathroom scale. No, but we don't even have a bathroom scale. The washing That's machine. That's why. I don't want to go on it. That's why we don't have it. I don't want to go on it. You always complain about the washing machine. DDA? 
Did Gilda say when it's her birthday, you'd better give her an expensive gift, give her a party, or give her your all in the bedroom? <laughs> give her a party. I can't believe you said that. We don't have any points. Gilda? <laughs> What, what do you mean? I'm not, oh, uh, that's true. You always tell me, give me a party. I want a party for my birthday. I want a party. That's Gilda, not what, true. What? I never want to celebrate my birthday. No, but what, what is it you did ask for? To give me his all in the bedroom. <laughs> Finally, Alan, if a woman flirted with you, did Christine say she would be amused, oblivious, or out of control? Out of control. No. Oh, I'm amused. Don't you, amused. Yes, don't you remember last time the girl that was floating with you and I kind of was looking at it and say, oh, you can get it, it's mine. <laughs> I'm amused. You're completely out of control. Well, I'm amused and I hope you're amused because we'll be back with the very amusing Gimos right after this. <laughs> It's Gary Moore's birthday. Happy birthday, Gary. We're back with a special family edition of the Newlywed Game. Now, Gilda and DDA, you haven't gotten on the board yet. You don't have any points. That's okay. Just don't worry about it. It's okay. All right. Now, Christine and Alan, you've got 10 points. All right. All right. Yeah. But I own your brother Michael and his wife Misha over there. Double your score with 20 points. You know, the honest G.I. Mo over yeah, there. That's right. Now, ladies, before the show, we talked to your husbands, the G.I. Mo men, and they told us all sorts of things, some of their most embarrassing moments, their biggest complaints about you. Now, I'm going to read these little secrets of theirs. If you think it's your husband that said that, you're going to hold up that sign that you have on your right, and I want to see it right now, and you're going to yell out, That's right! Very good. <laughs> now, if you're right, and it was your GIMO, you're going to get 10 points. But if you're wrong, you will lose 10 points. The first one up is the only one that can win or lose. You ready? Okay. If he's in the kitchen, he's probably waiting to be fed. That's my GIMO. Yes. <laughs> so, Michael... She makes you beg for food, too? <laughs> now, when I come home from work, the first thing is, don't talk to me about anything. I want my food. Right. I want my food. Okay. She knows it. It's good. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. To avoid hurting your feelings, he tells you you look good even if he doesn't like your outfit. That's my Jamo. Oh, right. Yes, that is your Jamo. Yes. <laughs> you know. She knows it. I tried and went. You're a well-trained Jamo. I know better. He says he's read your mail without you knowing it. That's my channel. Yeah! <laughs> Good job. Um, well, I always open the mail first. Yes. So, I always open the mail, so. But she knows it, apparently. She, well, she's not always happy, but she knows because I tell her after that. <laughs> he says he's the smartest Giamo man. That's my channel. Oh, <laughs> Huh? He didn't get it, did he? Yeah, yeah, he did get it. I'm the smartest man. Oh, really? What do you mean? I'm the smartest man. Baby, back me up here. Who's the smartest? I'm the smartest. She's a little slow here on the panel. You think he's on a diet, but he secretly eats cookies at work. That's why I have this. No, that was not. Who was that? That was me. He says he's the best-looking Jaimo man. Oh, you're right again, Gilda. He once performed a strip tease at a bachelorette party. Which Jaimo was that? Was that uh? Time 
ago, you were in Germany, you didn't even know me, don't worry about it. I don't believe that. Uh-uh. No, no, you said it, dear. I know it. You're right, baby, I did. I did. I recall him saying he was the most honest G.I. Mo man, too. Before he met you, he dated three women at the same time. Nobody was quick enough. Who was that? That was me. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. I was 17 years old. Okay. That was a long time ago. We'll have a talk when we get Well, stick around, and we're going to find out which one of these Jaimo couples is going to win that incredible second honeymoon. Let's go away. family edition of the newlywed game. At the end of this round, one of these couples, one of these Giaimo couples, will be off on a fabulous second honeymoon. Ellen, tell them where they're going. Gary, today's winners will be making waves in Mexico. They'll spend a week at the Hyatt Regency in Acapulco, overlooking world-famous Acapulco Bay. Soak up the sun, browse the nearby shops, or dance the night away. Hyatt Regency Acapulco lays it all out at your feet. Adios, scary. Well, gracias, Ellen. I'm very happy to say that Papa Giamo, Didier, and Gilda, you've made your move. You're in first place with 30 points. Yeah. Alan and Christine, you're just a little bit behind Mom and Dad there with 20 points. Woo. We're there. And Michael and Misha, you've got 20 points. Right. Yeah. Now here's how we're going to find our winner. Guys, I'm going to give your wives a couple of choices. It'll be like potato chips or corn chips, square peg or fits right in. She'll then hold up the card that best applies to you, Giamo men, and then it's up to you to match. But here's the thing, I start with 10 points, but it gradually goes all the way up to 100 points for the last one. Are you ready? For 10 points, potatoes or rice? Alan? Potatoes. Potatoes. Didier. Yeah. Potatoes. Good job, Michael. Potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, for 20 points, full serve, or self-serve? Didier? Full serve. She said self-serve. Michael? Full serve. Good job. Right. Alan? Full serve. Yeah. Self-serve. Oh. For 30 points, Mr. Style or fashion disaster? Michael? <laughs> fashion disaster. That's what your wife said. Alan? Fashion disaster. That's what she said. Didier? Mr. Style. Oh. She said fashion disaster. Yeah. For 40 points, thinks ahead or thinks on his feet? Alan? Thinks ahead. Good, you were. You thinks it. ahead. She said you think on your feet, Michael. Thinks on my feet. Oh, you're doing very well. For 50 points, shy guy or exhibitionist? What are you, DDA? Exhibitionist. Excellent. Yeah. Michael? Exhibitionist. Who you would be, Alan? Any other way? Exhibition. Okay. <laughs> For 60 points. Apologizes with flowers or apologizes with sex? <laughs> Michael? Apologizes with flowers. Good. Oh, yeah. Ellen? Awesome. Apologizes with flowers. Good. Yeah. 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 Just with sex. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now. Misha and Michael, you are in first place with 230 points. Your brother Alan and his wife Christine are not far behind with 210. All right. Didier and Gilda, you're not in first place now, but you're still in this with 150. Okay, now this is for 100 points on that trip to Acapulco. Do it all night or once with passion? Didier, I'm going to start with you. This will give you 250, put you in first place. Once with passion. Good job. All right. First place right now. Alan, you can take first place away from your father. You'll have 310. Do it all night. Okay. Oh, You've got 310. Now, Michael, don't say a word. If you get this right, you'll have 330 and you're going to Acapulco. Otherwise, all you're going to get is a t-shirt that says, my brother Alan went to Acapulco and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> What's it going to be? Uh, Do it all night. You got it.